Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. 1000 LB Sisters, Tammy Slayton's husband Caleb Willingham's cause of death revealed. 1000 LB Sister star Tammy Slayton was still a newlywed when she had to deal with the unexpected death of her husband, Caleb Willingham. Tammy and Caleb first met while at the Windsor Lane Rehabilitation Center in Gibsonburg, Ohio, in 2022. The couple got engaged in October that year and got married in November at the center itself in a small ceremony. The wedding was officiated by a nurse and close friend called Billy. Tammy described her wedding ceremony as magical. However, Tammy allegedly separated from Caleb five months later. They allegedly had a big fight over Caleb's weight gain. Tammy and Caleb split up because Caleb wasn't following his diet in rehab. Caleb had gained 30 pounds. It was Caleb who supposedly wanted a divorce but tried to backtrack later. However, Tammy was in no mood to reconcile and decided to file for divorce. The distance between them because Caleb was still in rehab and Tammy was back home in Kentucky had added to their issues. After all, Tammy and Caleb had only known each other for a few weeks before they married. It was said that Tammy wasn't interested in a long-distance relationship and didn't want to care for someone else when she was recovering. TLC's Tammy confirmed Caleb's death in a statement to People. I am devastated to share the news of my husband's passing, the 36-year-old Tammy told the publication. He was my best friend and I loved him dearly, she added. Tammy said Caleb became her guardian angel when she met him and now he really was going to watch over her. Our families appreciate everyone's sympathy and ask that you respect our privacy at this time, Tammy said. Tammy also posted a tribute to Caleb on Instagram and shared a series of photos showing her and Caleb embracing each other and smiling as they sat at a table. R.I.P., sweet angel. You will forever be missed and loved so much, she wrote. Tammy thanked her late husband for showing her what real love and happiness meant. According to Radar, Caleb was found unresponsive at Ohio's Windsor Lane Healthcare and Rehabilitation Center. A responding officer stood guard outside his room until the forensic investigator from the Sandusky County Medical Examiners showed up. A report that the publication obtained from the Gibsonburg Police Department mentioned that investigators were allegedly unable to contact Caleb's doctor, who would have been able to provide crucial details about any pre-existing conditions that could have contributed to his sudden death. CPR was attempted by the paramedics, but the life-saving measures proved to be unsuccessful. Caleb was pronounced dead at the scene on June 30, 2023. The report noted that all indications showed this to be a natural death caused by a medical issue, and the investigation was turned over to the coroner for an autopsy. Tammy was at home in Kentucky when she got to know about Caleb's death. Tammy revealed to people that she was sitting in the fetal position when she was told about it. Tammy got a text message from Caleb's friend up there. The text said, Caleb's not doing good. They're in there working on him. According to the 1000 LB sisters lead, it took 20 minutes for the next text to arrive. It said that Caleb was gone. Tammy had two pieces of jewelry created out of Caleb's ashes, a ring and a musical note-shaped necklace. She wanted him to live on forever with his memory being encapsulated. Knowing that he's with me, it's helping me pass the day, Tammy confessed. 